Hello, today I'm going to show you how you can get your Shopify products into your WordPress powered website. Now, if you don't already know, the WordPress platform is an incredibly flexible platform when it comes to functionality. Natively, WordPress is designed to be search engine friendly, and with just a few plugins and a little bit of time, your site running on WordPress can be super search engine friendly. WordPress allows for an easy interface to focus on content first, which in today's world of content marketing is intensely important. Now, marry your WordPress site with a WordPress theme that is mobile responsive, and you've just tackled the other big hurdle in today's web reality, which is that over 50% of Google searches are now done on mobile. In addition, over 50% of e-commerce conducted is also now done on mobile. Granted, your particular niche may not be near that 50% mark, but if your site is not mobile friendly, Google is going to look on your site less favorably than your competition who is. Now, selling online can be a bit complicated. WordPress has a few plugins which focus on providing an e-commerce store to you. However, Shopify is really where e-commerce reigns supreme. Shopify is probably the most popular hosted e-commerce platform around, and for good reason. Its interface allows users to focus on their business first, uh, providing the ability to easily set up a storefront and begin selling in minutes. So essentially, WordPress plus responsive theme plus Shopify equals awesome. So if you can get these three set up together, uh, you're going to be an all-star. So what we've done is we've installed one of our popular WordPress themes called Diablo. And this is just the boilerplate install. And we're going to show you how to go and install the Shopify WordPress plugin so you can sell your products directly within your WordPress site. So you can still have your really awesome WordPress blog and your really awesome and responsive website design, the theme that goes over top of the WordPress. And then you can now sell your products directly within it. So you can use the best of both worlds. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the dashboard and it's very, very easy to go and do this. So we're going to select plugins and then add new. Go up to search plugins, type in Shopify. We're going to hit the install now button. This will only take a couple seconds. And then we hit activate. Now we'll go and select the Shopify option and we're going to connect to our Shopify storefront. Now if you don't have Shopify already, you can go sign up for a free trial. I think it's a, they give you 14 days and then after that it's $9 a month, which is really awesome. I'm going to hit connect. I'm already logged into my Shopify storefront. If you're not logged in at this point, it's going to prompt you to log in. Boom. It's now an added the buy button uh, app system to your Shopify store. And it's redirected us back to our WordPress dashboard. Now, there's nothing else you really need to do here. They give you some shortcuts to go to your admin area. They even give you a couple shortcuts to go add a product or set up payments, set up your shipping. They also give you a customized option here where you can change the color of uh, some buttons and also the, the text of the buttons. But the only thing we need to do now is just go and create ourselves a catalog page. Now there's two different types of way, ways you can put your Shopify products within a page. You can perhaps do a highly optimized page for a particular widget or whatever it is that you sell and you, and you give the content, uh, the write-up about that particular uh, product and then you can insert just the product just as you see here and just do a product or you can actually insert a collection now of course Shopify uh, is based off of collections so you can have all products or you can have new arrivals or maybe you have uh, you can think of the collections as you know a certain type of product in any case we're going to go and select uh, I've got one called new arrivals for this particular storefront hit select collection okay and then at this point it's created ourselves a short code you don't need to change anything here I'm gonna give it a page title of catalog I'm just gonna use the minimize layout that we have for this particular responsive WordPress theme and then we hit publish and that's all there is to it and we're done you know provided we've gone and set up the storefront at Shopify with um, you know our, our checkout routine and 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 
which payment mechanisms they're going to use. We're now done. So let's go take a look at this page. Open it in a new tab here. So as you can see here, uh, we're in under five minutes and we have a catalog within our site. So here we are, this is the, the uh, new arrivals collection, which is uh, default, I believe, in Shopify. So we've got these products, fantastic. W what, what can we do with them? Well, let's click on it, see what happens. That's right, it gives us the write-up for the product, the picture, and then a buy now button. Hit buy now, wow, a cart slides out from the left-hand side. We could just hit checkout, but why don't we just remove this one and see how awesome the checkout experience is. Isn't that great? Why don't we go and add something else? All right, so I'm going to select that it's a uh, the medium size there and hit buy now. And at this point, oh, do, do we just notice here? It's showing us that we have something in our cart here. So it allows us to have this ability to expand out the cart. We hit checkout. It's then going to give us a little pop-up window so that we can continue through checkout through the Shopify system securely. So at this point, you do not need to be using um, a secure certificate. You can still get away without it because Shopify is going to handle all that for you. And that's the beauty of that. Okay. So uh, as we said, you know, responsive nature is extremely important. I'm just going to go and show you. If we go and uh, switch over to iPad mode, this is all still going to look awesome in iPad. And then, of course, it's also important to make sure that things are going to be running well on. Let's move it over to iPhone. And again, looks great on iPhone. We can click and expand, and we can see that we have our product here that will look fantastic. We can hit buy now. And what happens here? We've got our cart, and we can check out. So it enables those visitors which are browsing your website on their mobile device to easily purchase products directly from your WordPress website through the Shopify storefront. And uh, and that's just the beauty of it. Again, as I said, you know, WordPress plus responsive theme plus Shopify, it, it's just awesome. And so um, if, if you have a, a Shopify storefront or you're interested in selling products online, I really recommend checking this plugin out. And, uh, and if you haven't got a Shopify storefront, sign up for the free trial. Um, I, I think you'll be really impressed.